Good morning, kindergarten. I hope all find you well. This is Mrs. Cancer with another kindergarten number story. For today's number story, we're going to be joining two parts together to find the whole or the total. And as always, get your piece of paper and your pencil. Kindergarten, give a thumbs up if you love going to the beach like Mrs. Cancer. Well, during the summers, Mrs. Cancer loves to go to the beach and collect seashells. On one summer trip to the beach, Mrs. Cancer collected eight seashells and Mr. Cancer collected six seashells. How many seashells did we collect all together? Kindergarten, what important numbers did you hear so far? Let's take the opportunity to read once again and listen for those important numbers. Mrs. Cancer collected eight seashells. Mr. Cancer collected six seashells. How many seashells did they collect together? Kindergarten, what two numbers did you hear? That's right. We heard the numbers eight and the number six. Mrs. Cancer collected eight seashells. Mr. Cancer collected six seashells. Huh. I wonder who collected more seashells. That's right. Mrs. Cancer collected more seashells. She collected eight. Eight is the biggest number in that sentence. Six is the smallest number. Now that we've identified our two important numbers, eight and six, Mrs. Cancer's eight seashells and Mr. Cancer's six seashells, we're ready to draw our story and, of course, to count. Go ahead and take this opportunity to draw your story and count. Kindergarten, when you drew your number story, did you draw Mrs. Cancer's eight seashells plus Mr. Cancer's six seashells? Good job. Now remember, our job was to join two parts together. We were supposed to join Mrs. Cancer's seashells with Mr. Cancer's seashells and find out how many seashells there are in total. So when we count them all together, how many seashells is that? Did you get the number 14? So did Mrs. Cancer. Kiss your brain. We can write this number story in an equation. It looks just like this. Eight plus six equals, what's our total again? That's right, kindergarten, 14. Kiss your brain. Kindergarten, before I say goodbye to you today, I want to quickly review the steps to solving a number story. Step one, we read and reread the story to make sure we understand what's happening in our number story. Step two, 
after we reread, we identify important information that we need to solve the story, like identifying the important numbers in the number story. Step three, we show what we know about the story by drawing it. And then finally, our end goal is to solve the number story by writing an equation. Kindergarten, have a wonderful day. I can't wait to work with you again. See you tomorrow.